your side? What was it like uh, practicing this weather this morning? Uh, it's pretty rough. Um, it's hard to get people's minds right. Um, you know, when you expect a practice like this, you know how cold it is outside. And um, but I feel like I feel like we overcame. I feel like we uh, got a good quality practice in regardless of the weather. It's gonna be cold. Was it windy as well? It was it? very windy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was. yeah. It's gonna be cold in West Virginia. Is yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, every home game is a set temperature for us, um, and um, any any away game, it's it's uh, you just gotta you just gotta bear with the weather. You gotta you know whatever whatever the weather's gonna be like, we gotta accept it, and and it's good that I guess we're kind of getting acclimated now. So instead of getting blindsided come Saturday, so. Yeah, I think it, it might benefit us. Josiah, Coach pointed out a bunch of positives from Saturday's game. What did you see coming away from it? Um, I'm sure he mentioned uh, the team's fight. Um, you know, we've had a few, we've had a couple games where uh, towards the end it's easy to it's easy to um, you know for for some guys to lay down and um, you know just kind of roll with the punches that are being thrown at us. Um, but I feel like we, I feel like we still fought all the way up until the end. So that was a good takeaway for us um, moving forward. It's good for the uh, veterans to, to, to um, you know, the upperclassmen to show the the younger guys, which we have a lot of, um, that that's not what the culture is here. Um, so I feel like that was a good takeaway from Saturday. That's really the test now, Josiah. I mean, it's like now with the with the bowl game out of the picture, you know how. You know, how do you motivate yourself? How how will this team respond under those circumstances? Yeah, that's it, you know it goes right back to um, continuing to finish strong. Uh, we now turn our attention from playing for um, not playing for a conference championship, not playing for a bowl game, but rather playing for uh, the man that's next to you and, and playing for uh, the university and everything that you represent when you put on that that, that jersey. So um, yeah, we still have things to fight for. Um, you know. Our focus has just shifted now. How much do you think your team has been impacted by injuries all over the roster, and even going all the way back to this spring? Yeah, um, you know that's that has definitely been an issue. Um, even in uh, just most recently, the, the past couple weeks, we have you know some key guys out with um, you know different different things. Uh, you know, we won't get into that, but um, yeah, it's 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 hit our roster, it's hit our depth, and it's it. Uh, I will say the only positive from that is it's allowed younger guys to step in um, and start to develop towards the end of the season. How do you feel about the future? Maybe even if you have to look as far as next year, but once you get a healthy group and all the guys that you have coming in in that respect. Uh, yeah, this it, once we get everyone back, um, you know, when this season comes to an end, uh, it's just going to be about putting this one behind us. Um, the season obviously didn't go how, how we planned it, how we wanted. Uh, things didn't go our way. Um, but you know we got to learn from it and, and move on and get better when when all of our guys are healthy. Do you, say, do you think you'll be back next year? Um, I'm not sure. I, I've been praying about that. Um, you know wherever the Lord leads me in that decision. Um, I have no decision right now, so obviously I do plan to be back. Uh, that is um, how the schedule pans out. So, um, but like I said, uh, praying about it. I'll talk to it. You know with my family and coaches and. and um, whatever the Lord put, puts on my heart. Have you been contacted by any? any no, I have not, no. I'm not sure they're allowed to, yeah, because I'm a junior, I've been declared. Do you think you'll have that option? Um, I honestly haven't, I haven't heard anything about that, you know, from from the coaches or um, as cliche as it sounds, like I think the focus really is finishing this season, like what's in front of us and uh, not looking too far ahead. How as a veteran leader on this team do you guys take the fact that these last couple of games, coaches might not play you guys quite as much so that they can get to look at what these younger guys are going to have in the next couple of years? Yeah, um, you just have to take that with a grain of salt. I mean, if they're trying to develop players, um, you know, for the future of the program, especially with the bowl game out of sight right now, um, they, they might be looking to develop younger players like us, like, you know, like you asked. So um, the reps that you do get are precious and you got to take advantage of them when you're in there, uh, whether that be in practice or the game. So uh, we just got to take that head on and then um, do the best of our ability when we're in there. 
Is that hard though at times because it was just like you know? Yeah, exactly. You feel like you know towards the end, um, you know, some guys might have the feeling of you know I've been here the longest. I'm a veteran. Like I've been in the program. I've, you know, I've given uh, everything that I've given. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, you got to look at the big picture. Thank you. Thank you.